With the 2014 Soccer World Cup and 2016 Olympics quickly approaching, many are wondering if Brazil will be ready to host the throngs of soccer fans. Brazilian authorities said on Tuesday they have no timetable for completing its investigation of a stadium construction accident. It was a major setback. It's not only the infrastructure racing to get ready, but the Brazilian government is trying to get its people ready to speak all the languages of the world. Joining us via Skype from Brazil is Sean Dowling with Central English. His company teaches English to the Brazilian government. Sean, thank you for being on Arise America. Thanks for inviting me, Debbie. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Forgive me for that. Well, here's the first big question. Uh, tell me, uh, do you think Brazil's going to be ready for the 2014 World Cup, and what are they doing? I imagine whatever it is, it's feverish. Well, yeah, it won't be 100% ready, but it will be ready. Um, Brazilians are very welcoming people, and uh, they'll be doing their best to make sure everyone who's coming here um, has a great time. Of course, as I said, nothing's going to be perfect. But um, the warmth of the Brazilians are, um, are what we expect to um, really um, sell the event um, to the rest of the world and show um, what Brazil is really like. You know, we reported earlier this year a number of, of protests over the amount of money that is, is being spent for these preparations in the face of other services, poor wages, uh, lack of employment there in Brazil. What's the public sentiment about now about the World Cup? Well, I think it's still the same. Um, of course, the Confederation Cup, where most of the, the uh, uh, protests happened, um, was sort of a dress rehearsal to uh, next year's event. Um, while the games themselves will probably go ahead without any problems, I'm sure outside the stadiums people will still be protesting. As I said, it was a rehearsal. Um, people really learned how to protest, and the authorities learned how to deal with these protests. And um, people are complaining, really, that the stopgap um, uh, measures that the government is taking are not good enough. And um, having a, a big event where the government can uh, generate 12 billion uh, dollars um, and can't generate that enough um, amount of money for um, health and education is a bit disappointing and of course you can understand the frustration of the people and that's why I think um, we'll see a lot more demonstrations um, in the next World Cup or in next year. Of course, Sean, you teach English. I want to talk a little bit about that. Not only does, you know, these big events like the World Cup put Brazil uh, uh, front and center for the world to see, but it brings the world to the country. Culturally, how prepared do you think uh, Brazilians are for uh, so many other cultures, and particularly English speakers, to come and be able to get around and function? Well, I don't think really um, English uh, is a priority in Brazil. Um, what will happen is people will come and it's, it's some good advice that you speak a little bit of Portuguese. Um, Brazilians don't speak um, English very well. But what happens is, as I said um, before, they are very welcoming and they'll do their best to make you uh, feel happy. Now, if you go into a bar or a restaurant and you want, you want to eat something or you're a bit lost, um, there probably might not, well, there won't be anyone to help you with English. But that person will find someone who can, and that's what they'll do, because they'll try to make you feel relaxed. So don't hope that everyone's going to be speaking English, that they won't, <laughs> but they'll be trying their best to make sure that you feel welcome and you get to where you uh, want to get and eat what you want to eat. <laughs> and in, in addition to that, when the world comes to Brazil, what do you think they will take away about the country and its people? Well, the people, I think. Um, there's no doubt the people are fantastic. The, uh, of course, they love uh, soccer. They love football. So uh, the event is going to be fantastic. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to miss it at all. And I think that's what we're going to see. Of course, it's got rich music, um, it's dance, it's literature. Brazil is rich in culture. And hopefully they'll get to see that too. But it'll be a fantastic football event and the people will be uh, things that uh, people take away with them, their warmth and their generosity. I love living here, and, um, and that's what you get, um, and that's why I don't want to leave. All right, very good. Sean Dowling, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, thank you very much. And you're watching Arise America.